Okay, welcome back to another episode of Medieval Dynasty. Now, um, apologies. <laughs> I've had a really, really strange week. Things have been going wrong all over the place. YouTube has uh, completely cancelled my uh, my video uploads for some reason. A uh, couple of that, last couple of days. So I've been trying to get my videos up. And I think I finally figured out exactly how. So anyways, that's... that's oh, let's build a little bucket. Now, why are we here in um, Gostovia? Why is one of my characters all the way over there? Hmm. My, there's a whole bunch of people. <laughs> there's nobody at the hunting lodge. Everybody just congreg congregating around the lump, uh, lumberjack. Uh, that's a little bit strange. So why are we in Gustovia? Now, the, as you can see, there's nobody here. There's nobody in these huts. If memory serves. Oh, hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why they're all in here. All right. Well, just, you guys just... You guys just, just stay in there, okay? It's, it's a little bit creepy, but it's fine. <laughs> Alright, why are we here? We are... Uh, it's it's autumn. It's autumn. And uh, before it becomes winter, we, we need to do one more thing. Um, and and, and you, we want to do this as soon as possible, because they, they do grow. It, they do take their time to grow. And that is orchards. Orchards are very important. Now, the thing is that you can build an orchard pretty easily. You just simply go to farming, go to orchard. Uh, this one here. And you can make this whenever you want, right? Uh, the trouble is that they're expensive. These little uh, fledgling, uh, these seedlings and stuff. Like they're 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 no cutlings or cut cuttings cuttings cuttings. <laughs> they're pretty expensive. No, I think she sells them, but I am not entirely sure. Uh, she sells apples and stuff, right? but I'm not quite sure. I don't think she sells the cuttings that we need. I don't see them here. Uh, no, so she doesn't. So. If Farewell, my dear lady. I will see you some other time. So let's find the person that does. Now, um, I think it's Edwin. Edwin is most likely is the next good candidate to sell this kind of stuff. Uh, mainly because he works in the field and he is a, uh, he's a he's, he, he carries all this stuff. Now, where is Edwin? Is that Edwin? All right, that's Edwin. Hey, hey, hey. come back here. All right, Edwin. Can can you can you at least? Can you at least face me when I'm talking to you? There you go. <laughs> have you heard anything interesting? No, I wish it was pretty boring lately. Well, that's that's because I have been doing everything. I've been doing my chores. Now, let's see. Show me your wares. Now, these cut uh, cuttings. Uh, he does sell apples and cherries and stuff. That right? is cool. Pears and everything. Oh, here we go. Apple seedling. So we need to have an apple seedling. They, they are pretty expensive. We do have 2,000 coins, so we should be able to afford this. Uh, we want the apple seedlings. We want two of those. And, and we want two cherry seedlings. Like that. Beautiful. Now, you could go all out on apples and stuff. No problem. Uh, we don't want hop seedlings yet. Uh, we will handle that some other time. <laughs> They're very expensive. Uh, we do want the plum. Uh, beautiful. Two more of those. And uh, I think I want to pair seedlings as well. Can we can we do that? Yep, there we go. Beautiful. Pair seedlings. Bam. We have all the seedlings that we want. Gorgeous. So, farewell. You you can keep my money. I'll be back to get it soon. <laughs> I have been grinding those coins. Uh it takes a long time to get 2000 coin from a bunch of spoons. So, I have gone to Oh, hey, I have a skill. I have a skill. I can do skills again. So, sewing knowledge, cooking knowledge. Cooking gives us more experience from uh, tavern workstations. That's also quite nice. Um, um, we do have to do a lot of cooking. I'm going to do this one. Because it's kind of important that we get the more points from cooking and stuff. It's good stuff. Uh, now, which points are we pretty close to getting? Mm, almost. <laughs> it's not even halfway. Come on. Uh, this is nowhere near halfway. Not even, not even, not even close. Um, we're pretty close here. We might get some skilling, some skill farming thing because we have to get carrots and stick, blah blah blah, that kind of stuff. It's quite good to have if we had a horse, uh, which we don't have yet. Uh, I would also like to get um, the next level of barter, but we are still some ways off of diplomacy. Uh, don't, do, do, do kind of understand, we are still in the first year of the game. We haven't even progressed through winter yet. So it makes sense that we haven't gotten all of these points yet. Um, Headstrong, Water Dancer, um, also quite nice to have, but meh. 
Now, we have these ones, most of them. Uh, it's because of production. We we are producing quite a significant amount. This is, this is yeah, it's, it's, we are not even... <laughs> this is going to take a while to get to the next level. That's a lot of grinding. Now, the game does end up in a bit of a grind. That's, that's um, as you progress in the game. It's, that's perfectly normal. Most games have that. I'm grinding these sticks because of uh, reasons. Um, I just I just want them. Now, the advantage of orchards over traditional fields is that you don't need fertilizer. You just need to um, you need to grub the ground, and then you can plant your seedlings, and uh, just let it grow. Just let it grow, and eventually, all over time, it takes a little while. Uh, they will grow into beautiful little trees with fruit, and then, and then, then, then. <laughs> Uh, not here. Nope. This this one here. This one. At Tavern Level 3, which we're still quite some ways off. This is 10,000 points, mind you. Uh, you get to the wine business. Berries, juices, this kind of stuff. Um, that sells incredibly. Incredibly well. So we want that. We want that. And in Tavern Level 3, you can get, you can finally make the... the uh, the, 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 um, the wines and the beers. I'm not quite sure. Where is the beer? Did they remove the beer? Did they let did they get let the the beer go? <laughs> oh no, here it is. Workshop level three. You get the mead beer bottle. So they still have the beer bottle. Um so you can make beer. This is quite nice. Now we are pretty close to one thousand points now we're near your tavern level two. And tavern level two we can make uh, bread and we can start using uh porridges. Um I mean berries for porridge and stuff and we can use the berries in all sorts of foods. And of course, and of course, let me just show you guys. This this is really important. The tavern level two. Flatbread. Oh, flatbread. <laughs> flatbread is awesome. It is the best bread in the game. Best food in the game. It is basically just, just, just wheat. It is incredibly cheap. And you can make it all over the place. It doesn't take anything. It's just a little bit of wheat and a little bit of water. And you can make a whole bunch of them. And they, they last such a long time. They're great stuff. You can also sell them. And selling them even gets you a lot of coin. Now the, um, the other breads, like the uh, flatbread with onion, all these other breads are expensive because they require, some, particularly the multigrain. Multigrain bread is expensive because that requires all the grains to be able to make one. The white bread is good, but it seems to have, I don't know why, maybe they changed it, but the, when I was checking the last uh, season and stuff, they had the white bread at a, um, at a lower um, calorie than flatbread, which is kind of weird. Uh, and of course, scrambled egg with mushrooms. <laughs> My favorite. My personal favorite. Uh, I love eggs. As the, as the food of the gods, basically. All right, let's see. Um, what do we have? We have no food. <laughs> we have roasted meat. We have 141 meat, raw meat, and we have 51. Uh, sorry, 51 fresh uh, fish meat. Uh, we are running slowly out of food, so we have to start uh, looking into going hunting more often, which is okay. It's okay, but right now. Because we finally have the seedlings. We are going to instead um, spend a little bit of time uh, putting on an orchard. So um, what do we need for an orchard? We need a hoe. So let's go get a hoe. Wait, do we, do, do we not have a... Why, why are you guys all just standing around doing nothing? Let me just see. What do, I, what do I have? Are you guys actually not doing anything? The workshop. Smitty. Okay, you're also not doing anything. Why is that? No resources? Fishing spear. Okay, that fishing spear requires linen thread. Ah, uh, okay. I get it, I get it. You don't have any more linen thread, therefore this is causing you to just simply just do nothing. Okay, let's go. Um, see the sewing hut. Uh, you have no more resources whatsoever. I have no more leather. All the leather is gone. I have a ton of fur, uh, but I don't... I, the, the, we, we don't... You really use fur for anything at the moment. Um, so that's a bit of a shame. Workshop. Um, clay. Yeah, we finished all the clay. There's no more clay. So let's get rid of that. I'm, I'm going to put them on a medium wicker basket for now. 
just simply just this is a 20 percent some of that it's perfectly fine so they have something to do and they don't bother me well they don't bother me at all but i mean like yeah you know what i mean they're just, they're just they're just standing there just doing nothing i don't pay you okay i don't i don't actually pay you um so what are we doing we are we are looking for a i don't need that i don't need that at the moment um a hoe a hoe ho ho where's a hoe there we go we got stone hoe nice grab that one so how many logs and sticks do we still have i'm checking out because uh firewood is still good uh fertilizer we have 22 fertilizer for some reason i'm not quite sure why what happened there um maybe it's from the piggies i don't know <laughs> so they have some fertilizer this is great uh, they can maybe uh, drop some wheat we still have some tin ore i can produce that i can put that and creates a little bit more um uh, bronze which is quite nice we have no more leather we have tons and tons of fur though i wish there was more we could do with fur uh like the clothing and stuff like that, but we don't actually have anything else we don't even have flax uh the things a ton of limestone all right we'll get into that if we have time today um so first things first let us uh, we have a stone hoe let's go make ourselves a nice little um i need a shovel as well just in case you know just in case let's grab a shovel do we not have a shovel we do have a shovel beautiful all right let's go across the river i need some food i need, I need some food let's grab some food first and then then we'll go across the food uh, the river and we'll do the thing so we need to have 20 foodies yeah i'm gonna have to go hunting a little bit more this is the yeah it's if we drop down below uh, 3,000 calories that's definitely an issue <laughs> i need i need more food uh building the uh hunting cabin over there which which was okay but it hasn't resolved uh, the issue of food yet uh, they are of course hunting and are, are wait are they actually hunting so let's go check this out hunting lodge what are you guys doing you're not doing anything i need meat give me meat give me all the meat give me everything i need you guys on 60 percent meat and um a leather i need a lot of leather grab me some leather as well it would be nice 20 percent leather uh, feathers, mushrooms, berries. I don't care about that. Um, dried meat. Nope, oh, thank you. This is fine. Fur. I need some fur as well. Grab 20% fur as well. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh, that's good. So they can start working. The same goes for these guys. I need a lot of meat. Put these guys on 60%. This is probably the reason why they're not getting any meat from me. <laughs> okay, let's go put 60%, 60 like that. Uh, get some leather. 20% leather. Like that and some fur bam all right now they will do the hunt hey little guy oh little girl hey hey little piglets oh there's the other one oh you got tired you got tired little piggy <laughs> they have nowhere near grown yet this is feel this is rye this is wheat gorgeous we have a lot of rye all over the place um farming why why are you guys what are you guys complaining about you have no tools so what tool do you need um i'm not quite sure what they need it doesn't seem to say anything hmm, a bit strange all right now where do i want my orchard now the, the, the traditional place to put an orchard uh, will be at the end of the field which is of course right here so we want to put the orchards from here all the way down uh, which is going to be what we're going to do. Let's put down an orchard building, farming orchards. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's put it a, bit, a little bit further away from the road. Otherwise, people keep getting my apples. <laughs> That's what I used to do when I was a kid. So we want to have a field this big. Big this big. Beautiful. Okay. Not too big. This, 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 you don't need that many apples. Just, just, just to be absolutely clear. It would, of course, be nice to have that many apples, like because you could make a lot of wine and stuff like that. But seriously, it's it's a hassle. All right, that's the first orchard that we have. Let's see if we can plant something. 
Wait, do I? I need my bag, don't I? I need my bag. I don't have a bag. Ah, ships. All right, let's go grab. <laughs> let's go grab a bag. Ah, uh, can I? Can I still make a bag? Do I? Um. Do they have a bag in here? So, what do you need exactly? Um. I, it would be nice if they could tell me what they needed. You got a whole bunch of. Yeah, you got a lot of stuff here. Let me just leave you alone. Do, 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 do. Now we're gonna be going into flax seedings in the in the spring again. Gonna make a huge field for for flax if we get the, if we get the coin. We don't have to pay like a massive amount of taxes, and we'll uh, we'll spend all the money on on flax. All right. So do I need to eat something? Don't I? Yeah, I, I didn't eat the roasted meat. I right, I need a bag. Do I have a little bag? I don't I don't have a little bag. Do I? Nope. I think I think. There are no little bags. All right, that means we have to make one. Grab the leather. Oh, grab the leather. Come on, there you go. Let's make a bag. Simple bag. Take a sip. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Before you move, eat. All right, good. We're <laughs> we just ate a ton of meat. This guy must have a serious bowel movement. You just to salute me? Uh -uh. Oh, is it getting dark already? We didn't do anything yet. Let's put the bag on too. Uh, so we have orchard and we can plant all these beautiful seedlings. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, piggy. Sorry. Now the reason why you want to plant this as soon as possible is because they take two years to actually grow these uh, these plants. They 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 go very slowly. So let's see. We need to have this is where we want to put the apple seedlings. We don't have hop yet. So apple. Um, oh look at that! That's our first little apple tree. <laughs> okay, nice. And the second one goes here. Uh, once we have a third one, we'll plant that over here, um, which of course we don't have at the moment. It's fine. So next orchard Building orchard um, But don't put it too close. Let's, let's put a little bit of space in between You don't need that much space because these plants these trees aren't that huge So let's put them like that Kind of weird that they that uh, the field full orchard is so huge and yet um, You don't actually need that much space But yeah, whatever. It's fine. All right, nice. Now we got ourselves another little spot. Let's go and plant the next seedling. This is a pear. Now at this stage, you can't really tell the difference. The difference is mostly in the color of the leaves. Um, what you're actually planting, but yeah, whatever, right? All right, there we go. Pears are down. Nice. Next orchard. Uh, uh, we're gonna have so much beer well wine and juices first but then after that comes the wines and and then the large bucks <laughs> seriously I made tens of thousands of coin just selling wine to villages all over the place I went from village to village just selling wine <laughs> uh, it was so great it was a great moment all right, this is a plum tree. Oh, I love plums. Gorgeous. We got those already planted as well. We got next grouping to go. Building, farming, orchard. Do, 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 do. Put that like that. No, no problem. Don't make it too big. Three wide. Gorgeous. And then grub it up. Grub a dub dub. Bam. It's pretty close to the road. But, yeah. I, I haven't seen any anybody actually walk this road yet, so it'll be, it'll be fine. All right, there we go. Another orchard, beautiful. All right, that's it. We have planted all four seedling types: so apples, pears, uh, plum, and cherry. Beautiful. Now we don't have, we shouldn't have any more of anything else. 
The, the hop seedlings are way faster to grow. They don't take that much time. Um, so if you want to if you want to get into the beer business, um, planting hops is, is is probably you don't need that much time to to actually let them grow. That's like like one season or something or one year, uh, and then you already have uh, ready to go hops, and then you can make your beer. It's quite nice. But when it comes to the fruit orchards, on the other hand, like what we just planted over there, uh, they take a bit longer to grow. And since I am actually doing the 30 day one, all right, let's go take a nap. Um, I, I, I just want to be able to uh, enjoy the fruits of my labor before, um, I don't know, before I die <laughs> of old age. This is going to be a long series. Uh, let's drink some water. Look at them. Look at them all. All right, and just for the heck of it, I, I put down a, a basket. I put down a basket. A little wicker basket that I can stand on. I can't move it. I can pick it up. Uh, but that's about it. It's a, it's, a, it's a pretty little basket, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. All right, so you guys are all doing fine, all doing great. I put some bowls here as well, and I uh, put a jug here and those kind of things. Just to spruce up the place a little bit. That's fine. Let's go take a nap. There we go. Ah, one step closer to winter. And starvation, because <laughs> this is going down fast. We're down to 2,740. Oh, flip. We need to go hunting. So, um... Now, we could go hunting, but I, instead I want to do something else. I want uh, to show you guys how to upgrade a house. So, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be upgrading this beauty. Beauty. We do have quite a lot of limestone, so that's great. Uh, we also have a nice little hammer. We have a hammer. Wait, where's my hammer? Um, wait, don't I have... I? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I, 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 I destroyed my beautiful bronze hammer. <laughs> So I'm going to grab my tin and my copper like that. Oh, it's, it's, that's pretty heavy stuff. The, the copper, it's, it's already, yeah, it's, uh, that's a little bit much. Let's drop some copper. A um, little bit more. Uh, let's put that in there, put that in there. Is that enough? Yeah, that's enough. Good. Ooh. Let's go make ourselves a, a hammer. I think I need a stick for that, don't I? I think I do. Let's grab some sticks. I think for a bronze hammer you need to have a stick or a couple sticks. Where are you? There you are. Bam. Good. Seven sticks. Should be enough. If it isn't, then uh, too, too bad. <laughs> All right. Nice. Everybody seems to be okay. Nice and happy. I think. I hope. Uh, forge. I want copper bars. And there you go. And out it comes. Yeah, that's how fast it goes. So, same goes for the tin bars. In you go. And out you come. <laughs> uh, what a great day. Alright, so we have... Let's see, how many we got? We got uh, 11 copper and 11 tin. It's going to make some bronze. Now, I think we need two bronze bars. And we'll put the rest in, in there. First, let's see if we can make the hammer. Copper tools, no bronze tools. I want my bronze hammer. Bam, bam, bam. Yes. Now, bronze hammers, of course, of course are incredibly expensive. You want to sell those if you have a lot of them. Otherwise, um, if you if you take the time, you can you can make quite a lot of money off of bronze and copper hammers, stuff like that. But it takes up a lot of tin and. Uh, those mines aren't infinite. They do uh, empty <laughs> after a while. This, this feels unplowed. Requires mm. a bag of fertilizer. Okay, everybody seems to be uh, converging. Okay, cool. Um, uh, we have a beautiful little hammer. That one. Put on the one. Gorgeous. Uh, let's go over and grab some limestone. Oh. Little chicky. Hello, little chicky. Where, where are you running off to? Come in a little hat. <laughs> How do I look exactly? I can't see myself. It's a bit of a shame. It's a shame. 
All right, let's see. I need to put the wooden shovel away, the stone hoe away. I don't need any of that. I need the sticks to put them away as well. And I need limestone. Limestone, that one. That's what I need. I need to get a whole bunch of limestone. That's too much. This is fine. All right. All right, so now we got to choose which house we want to upgrade. And we could do my own house, that one over there. And that would make my wife... Uh, a Walda <laughs> really happy um, but I don't want to <laughs> she's she's already reasonably happy and I think that that's fine let's just leave it as uh, blacksmith Lubard Damaroka is a hunter she's doing fine so let's upgrade this house the other houses we could upgrade you can upgrade uh, Satch I think let's see upgrade yep well that requires Dao which of course we don't have uh, to make daub, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I think uh, the barn you can get daub, but that requires straw and clay, and it's it's uh, it's, it's very expensive. You take ten clay and ten straw and stuff, and then you get like maybe two or one daub. It's 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 a huge amount of work. This is way better. So for a stone wall, you need limestone. This is of course what we have. Let's go ahead and upgrade this beauty of a house. Bam! Look at that. Look at that white stuff. <laughs> now this is the final upgrade you can do to this house with stone walls. Now the reason why you want to do this to these houses is uh, twofold. One, it makes the people really happy. It makes them very happy, as a matter of fact. They get so incredibly happy, they, they don't want to leave. <laughs> And the second one is that they actually have, this thing has a insulatory uh, property. So that means that you use, of these people here, uh, use less um, firewood. Which is kind of handy because we are working with um, kind of a, a little bit of a maximum firewood kind of, um, they, they use everything really fast. <laughs> what were you doing? Hmm, he stood on the, I think he stood on the, uh, on the chicky. And the chick just knocked him off or something. I don't know quite sure. All right, let's grab some more limestone. Do, 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 do. Down here, beautiful. No, nope, not that much. The that's fine. We don't need that much more. We ha we don't have that many walls. Um, now the good thing about the limestone is that you get this from the extraction hut. Uh, they they automatically give this to you as well. It's quite nice to have. You can, of course, change that and make it that they have it. They, they use that even more. All right, so we got this house upgraded. Let's go check out management and see. Oh, there we go. Lubart and Damroka. They are incredibly happy with what I just did to their house. They are loving it. So they're gonna most likely live in this beauty. Ah, oh, look at that. <laughs> Uh, they could use a table though. Mm, for the rest, yeah. Let me just stand on your bed. Sorry. Uh, I wish I could upgrade the beds. These look a little bit, yeah, a bit, little bit simple. But I'm pretty sure he's like he his, his feet stick out at the end of the bed. <laughs> so, well, fine. Um, let's also just let's get rid of the limestone. Let's just uh, finish the limestone here. Upgrade this house as well a little bit. And bam, bam. Uh, you don't have to do all the walls. Even just doing one or two walls uh, already has a significant impact on their happiness. Uh, then they just they just get happier. You just if you just give them a little bit of something, even a taste, makes them happy. All right, let's go get some more limestone. I'm gonna finish this house. Beautiful. That should be enough to get this done. Bam, bam, bam. Now this limestone stuff is really annoying to get because you have to pound pretty much a thousand rocks to get maybe a dozen limestone. So if you have a bunch of these extractors, just up oh, ships. I can't reach that one. Dang, dang, da, dang, dang, dang. Beautiful. There we go. This house is also upgraded. Look at that. And let's also upgrade just one wall of my hut. See if, they, if, if that's going to increase the happiness for... Um, can we just change that a little bit? Look at that. It's gorgeous. 
<laughs> I wish I had the rest. All right, this is gonna let's see who gets happier. See, a world that gets happier. Uh, Egbert gets happier. Ulrika gets happier. So now they're 29 level. Uh, the happiness of level 29. They're still not happy though, because they're just like meh. But they're happier. <laughs> let's call. It, let's say. Let's call it like that. Uh, farmer. Well, I don't know what you need. I have everything you need. Um, in the in the in the thingy. I'm not sure what exactly what tools you need. It doesn't make any sense. I keep on hearing somebody slam a door. It's kind of weird. All right. We have upgraded this house. We have put down our orchards. We are gorgeous. We are good to go. Uh, we, we don't have any more money, though. Pretty much all of our money's gone. Uh, but it's definitely time to do a little bit of hunting. So let's go grab ourselves our wooden crossbow and some wooden bolts beautiful put that in one oh i can put the, the wooden hammer i can put the bronze hammer back just don't, don't just don't use it okay guys no I, I need that um bam and put that there okay simple bag is coming with me for some reason i don't know why right, let's go and check this out now this hut should have um yeah, why aren't you out, Damaroka? Why aren't you actually hunting? I never see you hunt anything. You don't seem to be doing anything. Is it maybe because you're too far away from the from the uh, uh, from the hunting fields? Is that the reason? Do I have to move you to? Now we could move her and her hut up the hill. We could move her also up that hill over there. There's definitely something to hunt there. Um, question is, should we? Now, there are wolves here, so I'm not quite sure if those actually influence anything to make it a little bit dangerous here. Mm. Let's just check, make sure there's no wolves here at all. <laughs> those guys really don't like me. All right, um, let's see. There should be some Vicent around here somewhere. Last time I got attacked by the Vicent. Oh, there we are. Uh, I need some meat. I don't need like a ton of meat, but the village does need a little bit of meat. And there we have some wolves as well. Great. Oh, no, it's not a wolf. It's a bobcat. Never mind. So let me just get up front of this beautiful animal. Hit him in the head. Bam. And, oh, hmm. He doesn't seem to respond after the first strike. Second strike, yes. <laughs> Down. Okay. Do, did I actually bring my knife? I didn't bring my knife. Oh, uh, why do I do this every single time? Ah, uh, bloody hell. Okay, let's, um... There's no wolves around here. Let's just, let's just grab this. See where? Where are, th are there any stones around here? Uh, did I take all the stones already? Oh, there, there we go. That's a stone. That's a stick. Um, do we do we not have enough stuff? We need one more stone. Just one more. I think I saw. No, it's a stick. Uh, come on. There should be there's like a ton of stones here all over the place, and I can't see even one of them. When it's winter, that's a bit different. Because the snow covers everything, including the stones, but um, the stones have a little bit of a, uh, kind of a, I don't know how you call it, a, a texture to them. So it makes it a little bit easier to see, to spot them. That's when we're going to be doing most of the upgrading of the rest of the houses. That, then it makes it a little bit more easier to get stone. Alright, let's see, we got ourselves a little knife. Beautiful. Let's grab some meat. Alright, done. Uh, foxy, foxy. Mm, I, did, did I hear something? I heard I heard a piggy. I thought, I thought I heard a piggy. It could be something else. <laughs> could be one of those foxes. They always make weird noises. Mm. 
Yeah, 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 exactly. Hmm. Wait, how much how much leather do we have? We have seven leather. Good. Um, with the hunters now also getting leather, I think that our food problems should start to change. Uh, I haven't put any traps down. I could also put traps down. The, tra the trouble is that the traps only catch uh, rabbit and, and not big game. Uh, you can get birds as well for feathers, which is kind of nice and handy. But I, I've already gotten so many feathers, by the way. You get feathers from trees. Um, they, they're coming out of nests and so on. They fall out of nests when you hop, chop that tree down and so on. But you can also trap birds. See, let me show you guys. If you have the... Was it the hunting lodge? I think it was... No, there it is. That's the bird trap. The bird trap uh, provides feathers and meat. It's quite nice to have that. Particularly in the early game when you aren't going to be doing so much chopping, but you still need uh, the feathers for uh, arrows and those kind of things. Then that's a pretty good way to um, to get those. You don't you don't autom you don't immediately have to start looking into farming and something. You can just stay a hunter for a long, long time if you want to, and that way you get all the hunting knowledge you need, and then progress on to the next stage if you want to, of course. So it's, uh, it's completely up to you. So we are moving slowly in this direction, um, mainly because I want to get. Uh, let's just see if we can get some um, some bear or perhaps some more wild animals mostly deer you can usually usually you, you can you should be able to hear them the deer I, I mean not the not the bears bears of course as well but um, but when it comes to deer they make all sorts of noises I want to see if the bears have respawned. I did kill them the last time. Well, not in the last episode, but the last time I was there. Did you hear something run? Oh, it was probably a rabbit. Yeah. All right, let's go back up the mountains. Oh, here we go. Here's some deer. Hello, deer. Now oh, they're all spooked. <laughs> Got that one. Ah, I thought maybe I could two hit them. I mean, uh, just just shoot right through one and get that one, so I get the next one as well behind him. Let's see. Come on, come on. No, stand still. He's gone. Never mind that one. Let's go grab this one instead. Ah, oh, you lucky bugger! <laughs> you are so incredibly lucky. Where'd you go? See where where's my where did my arrow go to? Where, where did my arrow go? I lost my wooden bolt. Doesn't matter. They made out of wood. It's okay. Let's grab these deer. Ah, oh, good stuff. Then a bam. Now we still have one more bow that we still have to make. That is the um, recurve, recurve bow. That one. Uh, just need to get some linen thread. It's kind of expensive and some leather and stuff out in the log. But that's pretty much it. Once we have that, uh, we can start looking into making the recurve bow. And I can, I can check out how, how effective that is. Uh, I've actually never shot with the recurve bow. Because, well, the last season, uh, after I got the, the, the bow, I mean the... the, the, the um, Hmm. Let me just think here, because I don't see any bears. <laughs> After I got the crossbow, I didn't. Dis I didn't think about maybe, perhaps, getting some more uh, weapons and so on. I, think th I thought that this was more than enough. So I'm kind of wondering where the bears are. Uh, I need. To, I need to put this. In. Oh, there he is. There he is. Right, I got him in the head, and I got him in the ear, and in the eyeball. Now, where's your buddy, my buddy? Anybody here? 
There's usually two of them. I don't see him. Hmm. Now, in the beginning, the first season, when you run into the mine, the bear doesn't run after you. Uh, but now, that doesn't work anymore. <laughs> so you have nowhere to run, except away. Uh, if you get chased by a bear, by the bear, by the way. Uh, one of these two bears, they, they, they like to hang out together. Trouble is, I don't see the second one. It makes me a little bit afraid that he might be somewhere around the corner. It's not a good thing. Let's go find a nice high vantage point, see if he shows up. Because he has to be running somewhere, right? I don't see him. Hmm. Strange. I expected them to be here. Well, if we if we can't find another bear, we might as well just eat something. I've got so much raw meat on me. I, I must be smelling like a like a um, like a snack bar to one of these these bears, or or to a wolf. By the way, um, no, nothing here. It's like strapping a bunch of bacon and then running into a uh, uh, strapping a bunch of bacon to your chest and then running into a dog kennel. Yeah, you're gonna get mauled for sure. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I, I just run away. All right, Let's see if we can find. You, you spooked me, dude. Make all sorts of weird noises. All right, we got some more cats over there. Um, I don't see any wolves. Um, let's do a little bit of a drink in here. Bam. Let's see, let's see, let's see, we've got, we've got you there, Lynx. I, I see you, I see you, wolf. Wait, is that a wolf? No, it's a cat. It's another one of these Lynx. Whoa, would you some, make some weird noises? Yep. Yes, you are cute. Hmm, fine, leave him alone. <laughs> we can kill them all. I really don't want to. Did, I, did you guys also hear? I heard something growling at me. When things growl at me, I always just want to be absolutely sure it's not a wolf. There we go, some more bison. Perfect. Hey, buddy. Hey, pal. I'm here for your dental. Quite sure what he's doing. Oh, now he's coming at me. Bam! Right in the kisser. Well, <laughs> if you want to kiss her in the forehead, of course. And let's get this guy also taken out. Beautiful. All right. S. Good. 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 Let's go get his brother. Put a new one in there. You still got enough. Uh, bolts to make this happen. Oh, his pal's over there as well. I need to see you in the face. Bam. Sorry, buddy. Right, let's do this again. Oh, now you're coming at me, huh? Whew. I was stuck. I was stuck in a tree. <laughs> Uh, sometimes things just don't go my way. All right, let's get this last Vicent and then let's call it a day. I think that we'll have enough meat for now. Put a little bolt in there, a little bolt action noise. I'm not quite sure what he's angry at. Okay, now, now I know he's angry at me. Oh, that didn't do anything. Whoa! <laughs> okay, he hit me. <laughs> and I hit him at the same time. Uh, I was, that was... Where'd he go? Oh, he's, he's still running. Alright. Good, let's get this guy as well. That was close. That was very close. I have to admit, he did hit me. 
but if I if I hadn't killed him with that shot, um, he would have come down that hill and hit me again. It's it's very difficult to to get out of range of these guys. They you have to zigzag between the trees and stuff that, and get them to a point where they can't squeeze between and have to go around. But otherwise, yeah, they're okay, right? So how much meat do we got? Let's see. We have a bunch of leather. Perfect. We got 10 fur. Um, 75 meat. Beautiful. That will help a lot. Um, no, no, no. Oh, come on. Stop running. I'm your friend. I'm the friend with the bolt. Action crossbow. <laughs> right, let's go get this dough as well. Ah, uh, good stuff. Beautiful. Let's eat something so we get our health to 100%. Like that. And we are ready to go back home. We got ourselves a whole bunch of meat. Now, it's not going to be enough to feed the entire colony. I mean, the, the entire um, village. But it'll be fine for now. This is wolf territory. I want to get back with, before it gets too dark. So anyway, that's it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. It's oh ships. All right, where we got the other guy? This this guy as well. Take him out. Any more wolves? Any more? Any more? I don't see any more. Let's grab this guy. Ah, wolves. <laughs> I always get a bit tensed up when I see a wolf. But now, thankfully, they give you a little bit of, of time to actually spot them uh, before they charge you. Ah, in the beginning, they just they just ran right at you at full speed. It was crazy. But now it's more of a civilized game. <laughs> if you want to call it that. Anyways, if you enjoyed the episode, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. It is fine. And I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, in the next one, we will... Oh, ships. More Vicent. I'll come back for you guys later. Uh, in the next one, we will uh, try and spend a little bit of time um, on, uh, on making some more money. Because we have none. <laughs> Obviously. Because we just spend it all on, on belt future booze, I guess. And juices. And uh, we'll be looking into... Um, into uh, building some more fishing huts and getting some more people. So we'll be traveling the map, going to Hornica, Jezerica, Lesnica, Denica, blah, blah, blah. It's a whole circle, whole tour. And we'll be uh, filling up these houses that we have. We have in total, um, let's see, one, two, three, where we have one to have people, two, uh, so six people in total. So then we have also uh, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We want ten people, ten more people for the village. I'm not quite sure if we're going to get that, but we're going to try. Though those 10 people will help us with production, with fishing, and um, with gathering. So we're going to be building a whole bunch more of these uh, beautiful little huts. Uh, hunting huts and hunting cabins and so on. So we're going to have people walking around doing some more hunting. Uh, and then we're going to sprinkle them all over the place. Just, uh, just, just be happy and <laughs> put happy little houses all over the place. <laughs> uh, it'll be great. Anyways, have a great evening. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.